What's up guys, Gums here and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2023 for a medium mountain gameplay today. We are going to the Tour de France for the most iconic stage that will be this year, Saint Leonard de Nobla, Puy de Dôme, and boy is this going to be difficult. 13 kilometers, so right on the cuff of medium mountain to mountain switch, uh, average of 7.7% and a max of 13 with the final 6 kilometers. All above 10%, it should be quite fun. For said race, we have taken FDG. Um, I wanted to obviously have Thibaut Pinot with us for one final ride. It is uh, after all his final Tour de France. Uh, I'd love to see actually if um, that's uh, embedded in his contract in career mode. Uh, minus one for David Godu today. Um, I'm scared because typically this is the kind of stage back in the days that I would struggle to win. Very steep finishes, not that long. Uh, I would genuinely be in difficulty. Also, is that they've got the Tour de France kit of uh, of Yombo, and if they've uh, implemented it only on the Tour de France, that's good. That's good coding. They haven't got the Bahrain one, but I suspect it'll be uh, available very shortly. But yeah, this is the typical um, finish where I would never win on P uh, the, the previous PCMs. Am I going to win today? Probably not. The minus one of David Godu and the fact that Tane Pogacar exists um, is reason for me to probably take an L. But I'm going to give it my best. Um, and also, I'd love to see how the uh, Puy de Dome has been, uh, has been made. Um, is the um, rail track right next to it, or the railway, sorry. Is the road narrow? It's going to be interesting. So far, the race has played out like any other uh, Aceda as the group of 146 that just got dropped, um, but they'll come back. But yeah, the race has played like any other. Your breakaway, four five riders, um, other riders trying to breach, uh, oh, sorry, to bridge. Peloton not having it, catching back those riders. Yeah, um, not a particularly high rhythm, not a high pace. Just so far, genuinely average. Um, that's that's all I can say. Genuinely, I've said genuinely a lot as well. Uh, but yeah, there's not much to to do. One down important towards the the feet of the Puy de Dome, and we need to be well placed because I am pretty sure it is a narrow road as there's a crash here by Eduardo Sepulveda. Good to know he's still seventy six mountain for Sepulveda. I didn't even know he had a contract. Let's turn on the Yombo. No, sorry, Lotto. Well done to him. Daniel portion, and we'll start the Puy de The good positioning is crucial. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like the other games in where if you're badly positioned at the start of the climb, you're fucked. Um, although actually, no, the the narrow roads begin after the um, kilometer eight of the climb. All right, well. Let's see what happens. This is medium mountain. It's not mountain, uh, but it's on the threshold. So you need someone good in both, as uh, Corvi and George Bennett have uh, learnt it the hard way, and they're already attacking. Attacks, very early. Uh, but attacks, Vlasov, Roglic, Thomas, Mass, Woods, Tade, Izagiri, Bernal, and Jonas Vingor. Okay. Um, they, oh, wait, it was just to bridge with Corvi? Oh, that's fucking smart. That's really smart. Well, I think we've just lost. That's really smart. I've never seen the AI do this. So what happens once Kobe stops pacing them? Because that's the key factor. The only team with two riders is Yombo, and I don't see I, have, um, I don't see Roglic or Vingegaard pacing. That was smart from them. Kobe is nearing the end of his shift. What happens? Roglic goes. Okay. Okay, hold up. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've lost the stage already. Ah, fuck it. Can I have uh, Can I have Thibaut in the middle of David? Thank you. Can I have Quentin protecting David? Thank you. Alright, let's go. Valentin protects, uh, goes behind Pino. The AI played well. I I just got yeah I got outplayed here. I would have been outlegged in uh, the upcoming kilometers of the stage for sure, but I got outplayed. Fair play. 
always good to see as well the uh, energy consumption of the riders. Um, that's where secondary stats are important. So far, so good. Um, we're doing quite well. Uh, we've dropped the other half of the peloton that hadn't gone. Crucial. See, I'm going to pose this here. This group, A5, right? Let's let's uh, let's target a gap between Ben O'Connor and uh, let's take a look at Thibaut. All right. No, not take position. Fuck's sake. Measure time gap. Okay, good. The question is. Are they going to consider Ben O'Connor a part of the Gruppetto and therefore completely write him off for the remainder of the stage? Or is he going to fight? Because that's where you could lose a lot of time, especially on a bad day. And that could be quite detrimental for the remaining of your um, Tour de France campaign. Meanwhile, we're going to get P7 with, uh, with Thibaut or along those lines. It's it's not great, but I think I've I've done a solid job after being bullied by the AI. The win is going to be for Geraint Thomas. They're all dead. Everyone is dead. Geraint Thomas has seventy four hills. That's a shame for him. Uh, but yeah, the top four is literally collapsed. P five for Thibaut, which I'll take. Uh, that's 155 with uh, the group Ben O'Connor that has split actually into a group of five here. So no, they haven't created a group better, which is good to see. I, I was worried that they would, uh, but they have not. They've lost uh, the regular time you would on a climb like the Puy de Dome if you were completely exploding. That's your group better. This group of 71 riders here. That's your group better. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, interesting finish. I enjoyed it. The AI played well. The AI played really well. And just like they are introduced, was it last year or two years ago? I can't remember. Uh, the gaps are well made um, and the smallest of gaps does count. Uh, meaning that Thibaut lost 55 seconds. He finished literally ahead of Michael Woods, who's lost 5 seconds more, but Gary didn't have that much a lead. And he's got 10 seconds on today. I'm, I'm guessing that bonus seconds were added. So technically, he finished with a... Uh, depends if you do 10, 6, 4, he finished with 6 seconds on Tade. But alright, then yeah, you can see the main Gruppetto. Oh, so that's weird though. The Gruppetto finishes together, but they're not in the same time. Because the start of the Gruppetto was Alex Boda at 6.46. There was about 70 riders, so let's go to 110. And more than 4 minutes with the Gruppetto, that's, that, that feels difficult. But then I guess if you're in the Gruppetto, you don't really care about the time gaps. That just about wraps up today's video and today's medium mountain gameplay uh let me know in the comments what you think of medium mountain uh if you think it's gonna have that much of an impact on the game or not um and yeah if you've enjoyed today's video then make sure to leave a like down below if you want to see more gameplay content on pcm 2023 then feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't so already and i'll catch you in the very very near future my name is guillaume have an amazing day see ya Pass me the phone. Your funk on girl and don't you ever let it go. We're getting drunk in here and what comes next?